We're very worried, deeply concerned, because this represents the biggest and most disruptive period of industrial action we've seen so far, given that it takes place over a four-day period. The duration is significant, but the timing as well. After a four-day bank holiday, when the NHS is obviously often very, very busy, and the build-up of demand coming into the Tuesday, and in addition to that, of course, the fact that many NHS staff will themselves be spending time with families, taking leave after one of the toughest winters on record, they obviously need a, a well-deserved break. So that means, in practice, that the challenges of this period are significant. Add to that the fact that junior doctors represent around half of all doctors in the NHS, and there are no derogations. That's, you know, the, uh, there will be uh, emergency departments, critical care, maternity, neonatal services affected as well. That's going to present a big challenge. And in addition, it's not just hospitals, it's community services, mental health and so on. OK. Uh, one um, chief exec, uh, one hospital trust chief exec says, um, concerned doesn't even begin to describe it. Mm. What sort of scenarios are you concerned about? Well, we're concerned about, first of all, the fact that, again, we're having to see significant postponements of patient treatment because staff will need to move from elective areas where planned operations take place to support the critical services like the emergency department, maternity, neonatal services, critical care and so on. Um, and already in the last junior doctor's strike we saw 175,000 patient appointments postponed. That was three days and not at this time. This time round we expect that to be more. So there'll be those patients that have their care disrupted, some of whom may have been uh, cancelled uh, twice. We'll also be seeing challenges with some of those you know, A and E, critical care and so on, in terms of staffing, given the fact that there are likely to be fewer staff around to, to deal with those um, that filling the gaps that the junior doctors will leave. So that means that uh, I'm guessing quite a lot of regular appointments will have to be postponed or already being postponed? Yes, I mean, patients, if patients haven't heard already that their appointment has been postponed, they should still attend because many trusts have been preparing for this for some time. Enormous preparations going into this, but there will be a lot of appointments and planned operations that will have to have been stood down in order to prioritise the services uh, over those four days that are required for urgent and emergency treatment. Doctors want, junior doctors want 35% pay rise. Why is it, where are you going to land with this? Well, what we would ask is that government and the BMA sit down as soon as possible. It's not too late. Even at the 11th hour, we can still avert next week's action. We saw what happened with the nurses when there was dialogue and the other staff side uh, unions. When the two parties came together, we saw an outcome that materialised in terms of uh, an offer that's put to members. We want the same, obviously, to happen between the government and the junior doctors. They're not going to agree doctors. to 35%. Well, that's obviously a, that's a, a starting point in negotiations, and all of this is about the art of the possible in terms of coming together. The key thing is they get in a room together and try and thrash this out, because if not, we can't sustain this indefinitely. What would you say to the Health Secretary this morning? Well, I'd, I'd, I'd say to both sides, come together, try and find a meeting of minds, try and find a way through this, because there's so much at stake for the NHS right now at a time when we're trying to reduce the time that patients have waited, the backlog and the shockwaves from COVID. There's so much at stake. We need all of our staff together working to deliver for patients. Out of time, Sir Julian. Um, good luck. Thank you. I think you might need it. Thanks very much indeed for joining us. Thank you.